Hey guys, MovieFan here to talk to you about probably one of the most iconic Zords from the Mighty Morphin era, and that would be Titanus. Now, granted, he did kind of take a back seat for quite a while because, you know, when we think about the Zords, we think about the Mega Zords, the Mighty Dragon Zord, and, you know, so many others. But when it comes to the Ultra Zords, there is definitely one who stands above the rest, and that is most definitely Titanus. Now, for many of the Zords, we know what happened to them. But what happened to Titanus? Where did he disappear to? Because he just kind of dropped off the radar, and it's never been seen since. But in order to talk about Titanus, we need to talk a bit about the history. Titanus first made appearance in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in the episode Gung Ho. Rita creates an army of super putties, which they cannot destroy. So they need to get special weapons to destroy the super putties. Jason and Tommy are sent to get the super weapons, but unfortunately, they are guarded by Titanus. Tommy distracts Titanus while Jason gets the weapons, and they leave. And shortly afterwards, you know, they talk about that they don't want to ever face him again. And, well, Zordon tells them that actually he's an ally. Now, that was his first official appearance on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. However, he would not become the Ultra Zord until the episode wheel of misfortune where kimberly's spinning wheel was turned into basically a monster or a weapon whatever you want to call it and it was so powerful they needed well titanus to help they combine and they destroy him and off and on he made a few appearances mostly when they needed to go ultra zord in order to destroy the monsters probably one of the most iconic moments for titanus would be the two-part episode doomsday where they fight the mighty Cyclopsus. Now, as many fans would remember, Cyclopsus was so powerful that they really had a heck of a time trying to destroy him. And in fact, Rita actually lent a little assistance who sunk Titanus into the mud. However, Zordon somehow managed to recover him. They never did explain how. And with a little careful strategy, they managed to destroy Cyclopsus. And throughout the rest of the season, whenever they needed an Ultra Zord, Titanus was there. But of course, all good things come to an end, because his last appearance in the first season of Power Rangers would be Mighty Morphin Mutants, where they create mutant Power Rangers out of putties. And obviously, they needed a lot of power to destroy them. So that was his final appearance in Season 1. And Season 2, he would never be seen again. However, he would come back in Season 3 in the episode Final Face-Off, where he combined with the Ninja Megazord. And this is where things get kind of unusual here, because Titanus, not only could he combine with the Ninja Megazord, he could also combine with the Shogun Megazord. And when you watch these episodes, you could tell that this was definitely Saban's doing, because you could tell that they did this by using the Power Rangers toys. You could tell that's the toy Titanus and the Toy Ninja Megazord. And even bigger yet, you could tell that's the American Toy Shogun Zord because his left arm is pink instead of white. And I gotta give Savan credit for how he did that. I mean, you know, because obviously they could tell that the measurements, you know, of the Zords, they would fit inside Titanus. They could tell that. So they just took that ball and ran with it. Was that a very cheap approach? Probably. And it's not very well told because there's no explanation as to how Titanus came back other than he was modified by Alpha to combine with the Ninja Megazord and the Shogun Megazord. The last appearance of Titanus was the episode Sound of Discordia, which was one of the final episodes of Season 3 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And then after the Alien Rangers came into the picture, Titanus would never be seen or heard from again. So what happened to Titanus? Well, nobody knows. I don't even think there's even any fan theories on this. In fact, to the best of my knowledge, no one's ever come up with any theories or fictions. They just don't seem to cover it. Why is that? Titanus was just as iconic as so many others. Now, granted, the Megazords and certainly the Dragonzord was so legendary that people talk about him like crazy. But Titanus? No. They tell his history, but they never ask the question, what happened to him? Where did he go? The only thing I could possibly think of is, since the power coins were destroyed, and since they went to Zeo, Titanus was no longer needed, so wherever it is he came from in that swampy, misty, rocky area, he sleeps eternally, waiting for when he's needed again. That's the only thing I could think of. And honestly, I think Titanus needs more respect than he's got, because, you know, he's always been in the background, just strictly 
as a side character for the Ultra Sword. And let's not forget, he was a huge help in Season 1. Because, you know, whenever they were really stuck in a jam, he would be there to help. Titanus should have been iconic. And there was a time that he was just as memorable. But sadly, he took a back seat to it all. So what do you guys think? Do you think Titanus is sleeping, waiting for the day that he's needed? Do you think he was destroyed? Just let me know what you think. And most importantly, let me know if you think that Titanus should be given as much credit as the other Zords. This is Movie Fan, signing off.